it's falling to the pad at one frame per second. <laughs> oh, sh oh no, oh no. So for this challenge, what I wanted to do was to actually use every single part in KSP2. Now there's a lot of parts in here, as I found out as I was trying to build this thing, and there's just gonna be a time lapse of me putting this whole thing together. What you just saw was me adding every single pod, uh, and then a fairing, and now it looks like I'm looking to see what else I can add. So I put in a big cargo bay here to put in a couple things. Now, one of the big stipulations for this challenge that I worked out right away was that it would be too easy to just kind of clip everything into one another, so I wanted to actually kind of do it as if physics mattered and make everything actually take up space. Uh, as I figured it would make a, a big, well, oh, hold on, what just happened? <laughs> there was a notepad. Uh, the notepad was because I found out pretty quickly that I wouldn't be able to track which things had been used and which things hadn't. I'm getting ahead of myself here, but anyhow, looking inside this cargo bay that I put together, there is a uh, unmanned probes as well in there. Now it looks like I'm putting on the solar panels, every single solar panel type. I realized that doing things one at a time was the best way to kind of get through it all. Uh, so now I'm doing the generators and finding that I couldn't put the cone generator anywhere, though so that's also going to the notepad is something I've got to remember. Dishes are going on now. Kind of a crazy challenge. Uh, kind of wondered if I could get every single part onto a craft, if I could maybe get it to get off the ground. I guess we'll see here, but uh, no spoilers. <laughs> if you're new to the channel and you want to see more things like this and also reviews and all sorts of things, make sure you subscribe. So now I'm just putting all of the adapters together, essentially making a big stack of adapters that I can just throw in here. So I'll just cover that whole section up with a fairing. Uh, the fairings are really, really easy to use in KSP2. That's a bit of sarcasm for you. It's it's not, they're actually quite hard to use, but I've, I figured I'd use every single one of the fairings here if I could and just kind of cover everything up. Don't really know why, just felt like it. So you can barely even tell that that whole section is just filled with adapters and cockpits and everything. and. I think this was about the point of the uh, the gameplay that I kind of gave up on not clipping that rule that I made uh, because it was just getting too hard to fit everything in. So everything just started getting shoved in there. Had to make sure I used all the different truss systems. So that's where all of them went. And then there's all these passenger components that next came every single one of the landing gears and landing legs. And again, I just couldn't be bothered. So I just shoved stuff inside that section with all the adapters. Let's throw some satellite dishes on the side for good measure. Ladders are going on now around the sides, all the way down the side. And one by one, these different categories are being added. This was when the game really started to chug. Every time I selected a part, you can actually kind of see it here now. Even though I've got this going at a ridiculously high speed, every part took like a solid like 10 to 15 seconds at this point, and I just decided to start saving the game. Probably a good idea. But it was getting very, very boring and slow as every one of these parts i'd have to wait like almost 20 30 seconds now it felt like every part that i put on was making it take longer and longer but still i was pretty sure that i could get every part on this until i looked at the structural components and i realized that i had to get all of those on still so i skipped ahead and started thinking about how i could get every single tank and engine on which i thought was also going to be quite difficult i did want to get this off the ground so i was going to have to put some pretty big engines on first i'd get through all the xl tanks and then I had to think about how I'd get this off the ground. Decided to go with an engine mount so I could try to get more big engines on the bottom here. So it ended up something like this. <laughs> Which, you know, might work great, who knows? Now, you can really see how long it's pausing here now. Every single time I chose a part, it was taking forever. I think now sometimes I was waiting a minute in between every single part. So I just added more engines, added more of the tanks, started adding solid boosters, but at this point, it was just taking so, so, so long to add anything. Here come some wings, because, you know, you need some wings on here. I waited about 30 seconds for the ship to load on the pad, and once it got there, it was just one frame per second. So I'm going to show you this footage sped up as well so you can kind of get an idea of what happened. Here we go.
So can you use every single part on a single rocket in KSP2? Maybe, if you have lots of extra time to wait for each part to go on. And should you do it? Probably not. Uh, luckily I did it for you so that you don't have to. <laughs> Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.